thousand ways of seeing Batumi. We've nearly tried them all. Batumi is the third largest city in Georgia and the capital of the autonomous Ajara region. Its 10-year relentless urban transformation has turned the city into one of the Black Sea's top attractions. Batumi Boulevard is its life and soul. It fronts the main beach and stretches 8 kilometers along the coast. It says a lot about the city's touristic development. 20 years ago, the situation was unbelievably different from what you see now. And this was a NATO buffer zone for Turkey, so there were lots of soldiers here and you couldn't swim freely for a couple of kilometers from Batumi Beach. Now things have changed from black to white. Along this boulevard, we can see many of the landmarks of Batumi, like the statue of Ali and Nino that we will see straight away. This statue has been standing here since 2010. It was inspired by an Azeri novel on the forbidden love between an Azeri man and a Georgian woman. Now it's among the most popular places in Batumi. Just meters away from the hypnotic rotating sculpture stands the 130 meter high alphabet tower. We spoke to an art historian who told us what's special about the Georgian alphabet. The Georgian alphabet is unique. It comes from the 3rd century BC. Every sound corresponds to a letter. The alphabet had three steps of development, and each one is inscribed on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. The tower has a DNA shape, meaning the alphabet is the Georgian genetic code. Europe Square shows the new face of old Batumi. It was named after Ajara joined the Assembly of European Regions. It consists of renovated Belle Epoque buildings and new ones in similar style. Towering over it all is the monument of Medea, the woman who, according to Greek mythology, helped bring the Golden Fleece to Greece. The history of Batumi as a toponym started a long time ago, about 2,500 years. Aristotle himself mentioned it. The construction of Batumi as a modern urban city starts in 1878. The old Batumi looks actually pretty new. Why and what remains of the ancient times? Some buildings are obviously new. They were built five, ten years ago. There are also old buildings kept in this neighborhood, which were built towards the end of the 19th century. Some are from the beginning of the 20th century. And if Batumi has a sort of old charm, I think it's thanks to these buildings. After our morning tour, we're due a break. We wanted the feel of a Georgian home in a modern environment, so we had lunch at Fan Fan. It's a cozy, shabby chic restaurant situated in a historic building. Here, traditional dishes have a contemporary touch. This is a traditional Georgian set of vegetarian starters. It contains the traditional lobio, beans cooked with spices and presented in a clay pot. Traditional elaji made from coarse cornmeal, corn flour and sulguni cheese cooked a la polenta style. We also find the typical baja walnut sauce and then pickles and Georgian sulguni cheese rolls. Drive out of Batumi and nature takes over. Batumi's botanical garden, eight kilometers northeast of the town, is well worth a visit. It's one of the biggest in the world, and it features flora from nine of the world's key ecosystems. Developing infrastructure in different areas and domains is part of the local government's strategy to prolong the tourist season. 
Tourism development is very important for our region, so as well as developing traditional tourism. This year we're also working on developing ski tourism, agricultural tourism, rural and also extreme tourism, which are all very good for developing our country. Investment in the region has brought a rash of casinos and hotels. Indeed, some tourists have already begun calling Batumi the Las Vegas of the Black Sea.